As for more about the Mets outfield, Starling Marte finally returned to action this week playing Dominican winter baseball. After undergoing groin surgery in late 2022, Marte struggled mightily in 2023 to produce and also as well stay on the field, posting just a 625 OPS across 341 plate appearances and 86 games played. So far in Winter League, Marte is 3 for 6 with two singles, a double, two walks, and has played just five innings in right field after starting the first game at DH. The amount of playing time in right field is yet to be determined in winter ball for Marte as he continues to get closer to 100%. Going into a 35-year-old season, Marte is still on the Mets' books through the 2025 season and will be owed $19.5 million for the next two years. As it currently stands, Starling Marte is expected to be the Mets' starting right fielder on 2024 opening day on March 28. He's a guy that we've been talking about a lot. You know, our concerns, is he going to be healthy and, and things like that. Uh, I just like that he is able to play baseball. You know, he's able to actually be on a baseball field because that's literally the number one question with him. However, I think that following the injury that Ronnie Marusio suffered in winter league ball, I was a little surprised that your most injury prone player would also be playing in Dominican winter ball. I feel like that's a little bit of a risk, uh, and I hope that Stoyan Marte doesn't overdo it while he's there. I hope he kind of just gets his rhythm when it comes to you know being at the plate, swinging, just getting his timing going. And other than that, take it easy on the base paths, even in the outfield. Take it easy. No, no don't die for anything unnecessary. You just don't do anything that would really, especially if you have a lower body injuries. Do not do anything that would you know compromise it further or damage it further. So. I really do want to make sure I, I want I hope that the Mets kind of make sure that they really just are taking it easy with him and just making sure that come spring training, at least his bat is ready to go. Because other than that, it's just not worth testing anything else. Uh, you don't want to see him get hurt in get in playing baseball when it's not with the Mets. I, I feel like to lose two guys like that, that would just be really silly. So um, I, I just hope that he's just playing it smart right now. He needs reps, so like he was gonna play somewhere if it was Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Mexico. There's you know so many international winter winter ball leagues. He was gonna have to play because what he played like three games. It felt like obviously he gets hurt with the groin because he's got a bad painish, and then we see him dancing in the club, which we will not talk about. But my expectations are like I said, kind of in the <laughs> insert clip here. Kind of like I said in the Bader segment, I'm not expecting much. Again, I'm expecting the bare minimum from a guy who has always been hurt throughout when he was in his prime. And even as he's aged, he's still always getting hurt. So I'm expecting less than 81 games. If he gives me any quality, sure. But again, that's why I was so like, you need to go get a guy who can play the corner because he's not dependable. He's not you no know, smart, tough, dependable ball player. He's not. You know, he's always, even in his prime, he wasn't that. But if we can get him to 70% of what he was in 2021, when his team was good, 22, and they win the playoffs, if we can get that guy, 70% of that guy, hell, even if you just stick him in the nine hole, that's for more production that you've had from last year. So, but am I expecting anything from him? No. That's why, again, I wanted them to be a little more, you know, let's get a couple of major league quality outfits, which technic technically they did, but I was looking for higher quality. But, you know, if it's kind of what – it's a coin flip of what you get. I'm not expecting, you know, prime Marte, but, again, I'm also not expecting him to be on the field and just, all right, whatever you get from him is kind of an excess, and you still have another $20 million next year attached to his name you're wrong about the nine hole thing because that's where alvarez was batting so they did get a lot of production from there oh but god I, I understand what you're saying you have way too many nine hole hitters here okay? yes <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true i mean that we, carson actually talked about that before uh we started you know does bader bat ninth does Beatty bat ninth does Marte bat ninth or do they stick Alvarez does there Jeff again McNeil like they'll hit ninth like there's just too many yeah, you could like, though I mean like ninth. they actually it, it's weird they actually do have way too many guys that could bat ninth <laughs> isn't it crazy they had so many goddamn leadoff hitters like two years ago now they have all these nine hole hitters best case scenario they're leadoff hitters worst case scenario they're nine hole hitters <laughs> When I look at starting Marte right now, you just hope you get the best out of it because, like, again, we talked about the back end of this contract, and it's already been a concern uh, in the second year after having this core groin surgery that he had 
after the 2022 season where he was really good. He was banged up towards the end of the season as well, and it kind of just all Dang. fell apart since then. This man is trying so hard not to laugh right now. You can just see it. This I just want to get it done. I just, okay. I mean, I understand like Mets fans being concerned about this with the PTSD of Diaz and Mauricio both going down in games that are not played in Mets uh, uniform and also not played during the Mets regular season. But in this case scenario, Starling Marte has to play and he just has to rehab during the off season. And it'd be nice to see him actually play baseball games instead of just rehabbing himself and seeing what production it is. I understand the Dominican Winter League. There's not much competition there, but it's good to just see him play baseball. Dude, you got Abraham Almonte as the fucking star player there, okay? He had a bloop double off of Fernando Rodney. All right, just shut up. <laughs> I'd like to see him play because, again, even before all of these injury concerns started off with Marte in a Mets uniform, we still had these ding-ups and these slowdowns in spring training. We we're like, oh, Marte is not going to play until week three of spring training. Okay, great. And we just did not know what was going on with him. And then we also had the concern with Nimmo taking kind of a rest and everything. I mean, there was tons of stuff um, with that. And again, I just want to see the guy play baseball and see what he's got. I'm not expecting him to be great. But to be honest, you you just said 70% of what he, if we can get 50% of what we got from in 2022, because he was great in 2022. He was one of our best players. But if we can get, just get 50% of that um, after recovering from multiple injuries that he has had, we've talked about this before, the Mets need to look at Marte as a non-factor. And I, to be honest, after this addition to uh, Harrison Bader and how this outfield is looking, you better hope Drew Gilbert breaks out in spring training. But yeah, it's good to see Marte at least playing. And it looks like he's near 100% running, it looked like, in the limited clips that we saw from him. If he can have an earlier spring training than everybody else with the health concerns he has had, I'm all board, on board with that, especially with it seems like what they're kind of banking on with him out of all the outfield additions that they have made. We'll see what happens again. You got honest to God, I really hope we see Drew Gilbert break out in spring training. So maybe we get a little bit of that. But again, this is a prospect. I just don't like banking on it or, or, plugging it in um and and i think that if starling Marte did not have the injury concern and the concern of the contract and everything like that i probably would like the harrison bader edition a little bit more